Are you having problem running Warzone? And is it constantly dropping frames? Then this video is for you. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mint and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings to increase frames in Warzone. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button so you don't miss out on future videos as I upload a lot of Warzone content. So make sure you guys hit that sub button. And if this video helped you, make sure you guys hit that like button to let me know. And let's get right into the video, guys. So if you want to increase your frames, the most important tab for that is the graphics tab. So let me show you my settings I have. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're playing on full screen because it helps with the input lag the next thing is the screen refresh rate make sure it's the highest that you have available so for me i have 144 so that's the one i'm gonna select some of you might have 60 75 or 120 whatever the highest you have make sure you have that selected the second you want to make sure your render resolution is 100 percent because lowering this will make your game look very bad you only want to do this if your pc cannot handle the game even at the lowest settings but just know that your game is gonna look bad the lower this goes aspect ratio i have it set to automatic and vsync you want to make sure you want to turn that off and for the frame rate put it to custom and then go to advance over here for the gameplay custom frame rate you want to put it to 144 or your screen refresh rate so if you have 75 you want to put it to 75 if you have 120 put it to 120 the menu one i put it to 60 and the out of focus one i put it to 30 i did this so the pc doesn't have to work as hard when you're just sitting in the menu do not doing anything and for the gameplay frame rate you can put it to as high as possible but just know that it's going to take a lot of toll on your pc so if your pc can't handle it just try to play around with this and see what the most frame rate your PC can handle. And I have NVIDIA Reflex enabled as well. Gamma I have 2.2. If you're playing on a TV, then you can try 2.4. It might look better for you. But if you're playing on monitor, 2.2 is pretty good. Streaming quality and texture resolution are the two most important tabs in my opinion. Setting these higher will take a lot of toll on your PC. And setting them lower will make your game look worse. So you just gotta play around with it and find the sweet spot. For me, I have the streaming quality set to normal and the texture resolution set to normal as well. And sometimes I put the texture resolution to low and it looks perfectly fine for me. But maybe that's because I have a 1440p monitor. So if you have a 1080p monitor, this might not look that good. So you might want to stick to normal. Same with texture filter. I have it set to normal and particle quality I have set to low and bullet impacts and sprays I have disabled. I also have this set to all because I don't like the flat look. But if you don't really care about that, you can turn it off and it'll give you a little bit of boost in frames. On demand texture streaming, I have set to disabled. And then spa shadows and sun shadows, I've set to enabled. Particle lighting, I have set to low. Ray tracing, you definitely want to turn that off if you have it available. This thing will kill your frames. Filmic strength, I have set to zero. And if you have DLSS available, this is one of those settings that will help improve your frames a lot. If you're playing on higher resolution monitors like 1440p or 4K, you wanna turn this on and it's gonna save you a lot of frames. So since I play on a 1440p monitor, I have set to quality. You can just look at the side over here on the right side and it'll tell you which one you should have a set to based on what resolution you have. But if you have a 1080p monitor, I don't find that this helps a lot. So you just want to disable it. And if you disable it, anti-aliasing will become available. And for me, I have it set to 1x, but you can also play around with this and see which one you like. And then for depth of field, I have disabled, motion blur I have disabled, weapon motion blur I have disabled and film grain i have set to zero so those are my graphic settings now let me show you my audio settings so as you guys know it's really hard to hear footsteps in warzone sometimes so for your audio mix i chose boost low because it helps me hear footsteps more but you can also try boost high but those are the two i would go with another tip i have for you guys is if you go to general and under mini map you can change the shape of the mini map the default shape is circle but if you turn it to square you can actually see a lot more of the mini map and this will help you spot enemies that you can't see on the circle mini map so make sure you have that set to square so those are the settings that help me improve my frames in warzone before i used to get like 100 frames but now that i have these settings i get around 144 and even more than that but i just have it capped at 144 and one of the biggest reason for that was the dlss but there's other settings you can turn on and off that will improve your frames so if this didn't work for you the only option i see is turning everything to low or off your machine just might not be powerful enough to handle warzone as this game is very demanding but the last but yeah that's the last resort i see is turning everything to low and off which will make your game look not that amazing but it's better than nothing so let me know if this video helped you guys and hit that like button if it did and hit that sub button so you don't miss out on future warzone content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video